Well, good morning, everyone. This is Mighty Stream. I want to greet you today. Today, we are going to be covering the April 23rd, just for today, in a meditation. Um, again, my name is Mighty Stream, and I am brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is the Hood Recovery Services Program. We are doing Hope Offered on Demand with the Just for Today in a Meditation, because we know so many of you enjoy it. And it's always nice to have a different perspective and I enjoy doing it. So I wanted to go ahead and share the screen for the meditation for April 23rd. Here we are. April 23rd, a God of our own understanding. Basic text, page 25, here's the quote. Many of us understand God to be simply whatever force keeps us clean. Some of us entered recovery with a working understanding of a higher power. For a lot of us, however, God is a troublesome word. We may doubt the existence of any sort of power greater than ourselves, or we may remember uncomfortable experiences with religion and shy away from the God stuff. Starting over in recovery means we can start over in our spiritual life too. If we're not comfortable with what we've learned when we were growing up, we can try a different approach to our spirituality. We don't have to understand everything all at once or find the answers to all our questions right away. Sometimes it's enough just to know that other NA members believe and that their belief helps keeps, keep them clean. Let me repeat that last sentence. Sometimes it's enough just to know that other NA members believe and that their belief helps keep them clean. Just for today, all I have to know right now about my higher power is that it is the power that helps keep me clean. That is uh, a beautiful reading, and I'll tell you why, because I'm one of these individuals that came into recovery with a understanding, but it was non-working. I had an understanding of a higher power, and the higher power that I understood was the one that I was raised with, and the one that I was raised with I needed to, because of the religiosity was so intense, I needed to grow up before I was grown. I had to grow up and understand the reasons and understand right and wrong and uh, have all of these moral values. And I was just a, a young girl growing up with a whole bunch of pressure and, you know, I Teenage years were horrible, but I was not comfortable that I could be who I was as a young person, and I had to present myself as an adult, even at the age of 12, right? So it was difficult because the standards of the religion that my higher power at that time had that I was raised with, right? was very strict and some of you know me but you know that there were certain things that I was not allowed to do you know and there's some things still today that I don't do that I'm grateful right I've never smoked cigarettes and that was something that I would not have been allowed to do because of the way that I was raised and the way that um the presentation of the higher power at that time, my higher power at that time was that you needed to be holy. You needed to be clean in every way possible. And it was just not manageable. But that, that smoking cigarettes or not smoking cigarettes was a simple thing for me. Um, you know, when I finally decided to start drinking, I was drinking because I, I was dealing with such a heavy loss um, of my, my babies. And drinking was the thing that ca caused me to calm down. Um, but to the extent of drunkenness, yeah, that was not something that was acceptable either. 
you know, and so there's some things in my life today, I don't drink, you know, I don't smoke cigarettes. Uh, there's some other things I don't do that I was raised with that were directly attributed to me trying to live a certain lifestyle in accordance with the understanding of my higher power that I was being given at that time. And I'm grateful for those things. But there's something else that was missing. And like I said, I wasn't really able to be young. I wasn't able to be a kid. I needed to be able to speak orally and give presentations at a very early age. It was part of the training uh, to understand the Bible and be able to uh, use it for any any situation that would come up, I was expected to understand how to use the Bible and teach people. Why well, I can remember at the age of four having a Bible class in my broken down garage. And I was quite proud of being called to teach the Bible at that age. You know, and so there were some pressures. And so what that did for me, right? What that did for me was that it caused me to want to hide where I was messing up. I was still a kid. I didn't stop being a kid or a young person. But it caused me to hide, you know? And so I started having two faces. I started having a, a life of hypocrisy the holy version and the, the unholy version. It really wasn't an unholy version. It was just a young, young person trying to grow up, right? And so the standards were high and I was failing those standards all the time. And in order to be okay with them, I felt that, well, let me just present this person to my parents and present this person to everyone else. I lived a double life and I was okay with living a double life because how do you get away from being a young person growing up? You can't get away from it, right? And so as I came into the program, I think I wanna stay right here just for a little bit longer before I stop the share. As I came into the program, I changed. I, I couldn't believe they were telling me that I could have a higher power of my own understanding. And they were telling me in the study of that third step, if you have a higher power that is not loving and caring, you might want to reconsider it. I was like, huh, how can you I define, not identify, how can you define God? How can you change your understanding? of God. How is that possible? God is God, right? How can you possibly have an understanding of all of your own that works for you? And so I would get into these theological debates with people in the rooms, and it was never appropriate because it wasn't up for anyone to judge my higher power or for me to judge theirs. And religion was not something that was acceptable to share about in the meetings. Like if you, you were able to share generically, you know, what you were going through and spiritualize that, then that's fine. But to bring in the workings of religion into your share was considered breaking traditions. And so I just, I debated with a lot of people about not so much their higher power, but, you know, the way they were presenting them um, seemed very religious to me. And I would say that was initially the difficult part for me was just understanding that I could have a higher power, my own understanding, and other people could have a higher power of their understanding. That was very difficult. And so today I can say that my higher power and I are just really, really cool. We're really relaxed with each other. I understand when my God is speaking to me and I understand how my God is speaking to me. And it's something that I would wish for everyone to have a relationship 
with their higher power where they understand. They understand their higher power in, in a way that, you know, not is all knowing, but just to have a relationship, right? When, when you meet a married couple that have been together for years and people know their business, right? Because they've been in the neighborhood for years, but they've been married for a very long decades. They have an understanding of one another and the weaknesses in one another could not overcome their love for one another or their commitment for one another. Some of these couples that I've had a chance to talk to, they'll say, honey, it was not, he has some other children by somebody else in between my two children that are ages such and such. Oh, there, there was a, a, a time in our relationship, our marriage, we didn't communicate at all. I rarely even saw him. I was so upset with him. And here it is 20, 30 years later, and they're still together. And the point is, is that every relationship, and I'm, I'm relating this to our relationship with the God of our understanding, is not always perfect there's going to be some bumps along the way where you will not be able to trust God or not trust him, rather. You will not be able to trace God, but you trust him, right? You, you're looking for breadcrumbs to show you which way he's moving. And, and you may not be able to do that because you may be in the thick of it. You may not be able to see what he is even doing, what your God is even doing, because the, the forest is, 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 the trees are thick and you can't see the forest because of the trees. And what are you going to do? Just drop your faith in God because right now is a pressing situation and you don't understand it? No, time has probably shown you that with the passage of time, understanding comes. And it, you know how they say hindsight is twenty twenty. Well, a lot of times when we cannot trace God, but we trust him anyway, we look back, you know, that hindsight is twenty twenty. We look back and we say, wow, if it had worked out any other way, I'd probably be in prison. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that sometimes, but I know that I certainly can. If I had gone that direction, oh my goodness, how would it have turned out? So I just want to encourage you today to give yourself an opportunity to develop this understanding of God that works and the parts that you feel are not working, that you do not understand, do not have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect, right? Just remain steady and remain committed to what you know. And if you have a few people in your circle that have faith that you admire, you admire their relationship with their higher power, hold on to them, cling on to them just for right now. Because undoubtedly, you two will end up with your own understanding, one that works, and that you will be able to look back and say, wow, even when I couldn't trace them because I chose to trust anyway, I am so grateful. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm glad to be with you today, and I hope that you enjoyed the April 23rd just for today in a meditation, a God of our own understanding.